Hey guys, Sightcubing here, but you can call me Chris. Thanks for all of the views and nice comments on my video on how to solve the third layer. Because of that, here is a video on how to solve the third layer faster. I'll get right into it. Because I'm going to show you a few new algorithms, we'll start with some basic terminology. If you already know standard terminology, skip to the time you see below. A capital letter stands for one of the six faces of the cube. F means front face, R means right face, U means up face, B means back face, L means left face, and D means down face. If all you see is a capital letter, that means to turn that face clockwise, as if you were looking straight at it. This is important. F means to turn the front face clockwise, like this. But B means to turn the back face like this, which looks wrong, but actually would be clockwise if you rotated the cube around and then did the turn. So you can see that's actually clockwise, even though it looks counterclockwise when you turn it from this angle. If there is an apostrophe after a letter, that simply means to instead turn that face counterclockwise. We'll call the apostrophe prime. So for example, L prime means you turn the left face counterclockwise. And obviously, if there is the number 2 after a letter, that simply means to turn the face twice. So for example, D2 means you turn the down face twice. I hope you realize that it doesn't matter whether you do it clockwise or counterclockwise. Finally, don't worry if you see parentheses. Parentheses don't actually change the algorithm. For now, all they do is make it more readable. A group of moves that is within a set of parentheses is called a trigger. Okay, let's get into solving the third layer faster. So when you begin your third layer, you will either see a dot, a backwards L, a horizontal bar, or a cross. And remember, these two corners don't matter. Our goal is to get to the cross directly from any of the other three patterns. If you see the bar, just do the face algorithm. F, R, U, R prime, U prime, F prime. As you can see, the trigger in the face algorithm is R, U, R prime, U prime. If you see the backwards L, do the face algorithm, but do the trigger backwards. So F, and this time, U, R, U prime, R prime, F prime. If you see the dot, do the face algorithm, but do the trigger twice. F R, U, R prime, U prime. But before you do the second trigger, throw in a slice move, which looks like this. You're basically turning clockwise the layer behind the front layer. We'll use the letter S to show this slice move. Then go ahead and do the second trigger, R, U, R prime, U prime. And finish the algorithm off by turning the front two layers counterclockwise. We'll call that final move wide F prime, represented by a lowercase f and a prime. That last algorithm was a little long, so I'll show it to you again. F, R, U, R prime, U prime. S, R, U, R prime, U prime, wide F prime. The push step is about as fast as it can get. You should never have to do it more than two times in any solve. So let's go to the dodge step. The dodge is an algorithm that keeps this corner in place and cycles the other three corners counterclockwise. U, R, U prime, L prime, U, R prime, U prime, L. 
If you use standard beginner's method, you might find yourself having to do the dodge up to three times in a single solve. This is because of two reasons. The first reason is that sometimes those other three corners need to be rotated clockwise, not counterclockwise. The second reason is that sometimes none of your corners are in the correct spot. Let's address these issues one by one. If you look closely, you will see that the dodge takes this front corner and shoots it up diagonally. So we have blue, red. If I do the dodge, the blue red corner is now over here. So the dodge shoots the front left corner up diagonally. If you look even more closely, you will notice that this corner only needs to be shot up diagonally if neither of its non-yellow colors matches up with the colors around the corner. Here we have blue and red, but around it we have green and orange. There's no match which means this corner needs to be shot up to the opposite side. So if you see that the front right corner is in the correct spot and the front left corner doesn't match up with the colors around it, then go ahead and do the dodge. This will correctly position all of your corners. But if there is a match, as in this case, we have red, green, and we have green, orange, they share a green, then turn the cube to the left and do a mirror dodge, which is U prime, L prime, U, R. U prime, L, U, R prime. This algorithm is the same as doing the standard dodge twice in a row. Remember that for the mirror dodge, the correctly positioned corner needs to be on the left side. Okay, so you now know how to avoid doing the dodge twice in a row. But what if there are no corners correctly positioned? This part gets a little advanced, so if you want to go to the next section, skip ahead to the time you see below. So if none of the yellow corners are in the right places, there are two possible cases. Either the top ones need to switch with the bottom ones, making parallel lines, or every corner needs to be shot diagonally, making an X shape. To figure out which case you have, look at the non-yellow colors of each corner. If you have a corner like this, where its two colors are completely different than those of the middle edge below it, then you immediately know you have the X case. Here we have green and orange, but the middle edge below it is red and blue. None of those colors match, so we know we have the X case. But if you find a corner that shares one color with the middle edge below it, then you know you have the parallel case, but you still need to use the other color to find out whether it needs to go right or left. For example, this corner has green and orange. The middle edge below it has green and red. Because they share a green, I know I have the parallel case, so I need to use this other color, orange, to figure out whether the corner needs to go left or right. Because the orange side is over here, I know this corner needs to go right, because this orange needs to be here on the orange side. The algorithm for the X case is called the H perm. To execute this algorithm, we need a new type of move called M2, which simply means to turn the middle layer twice. The H perm goes like this. M2, U, M2, U2, and repeat. M2, U, M2, U2. This will switch all of your corners diagonally. The algorithm for the parallel case is called the E perm. To execute this algorithm, we need a new type of move called wide U2. This simply means to take the top two layers and spin them around twice. The E perm goes like this. Begin by looking at the top of the cube, remembering that from this point of view, the top two corners need to switch with the bottom two corners, which means these two need to switch and these two need to switch. Then you do these moves. 
R U prime R prime D R U R prime Y U two R prime U R D R prime U prime R and this will switch the two pairs of top corners. One more time. R U prime R prime D R U R prime Y U two R prime U R D R prime U prime R. You may notice that when orienting your yellow corners, it takes twice as long to solve some of them. If you are especially attentive, you will realize that these slower ones are always facing yellow at you when you begin to solve them. For example, if I have this headlights position, it takes two repetitions to solve the first corner. One, two. But, since the second corner is facing yellow at me, it takes four repetitions to solve it. One, two, three, four. This is because the twisting algorithm only rotates the corner counterclockwise. When the corner faces yellow away from you, it needs to be rotated counterclockwise. So the twisting algorithm is perfect. But when the corner faces yellow towards you, then it actually needs to be rotated clockwise. If the corner is facing yellow away from you, do the twisting algorithm, which is this. R prime, D prime, R, D. And repeat. R prime, D prime, R, D. If the corner is facing yellow towards you, do the reverse twister, which is this. D prime, R prime, D, R. And repeat. D prime, R prime, D, R. If you want to be even faster on this step, tilt the cube to the left while you're doing the twisters. This will allow you to use your index fingers instead of your fourth fingers, and it might be faster for you. Thanks for watching.